Hey guys, how are we this morning? So look, check it out. There's the moon, huh? Out here at the farm, looking across the road. That's pretty cool. Wish I could get a closer shot for you, but that's the best my little camera can do. Which actually, you know, really isn't too bad. All right, so what I wanted to show you this morning, and I meant to show you last night, and I didn't get a chance to, other than my tools getting wet all night. Well, that's okay. Over here, check this out, huh? Now, that's the base of my tower, okay? Last time, what we did is we worked on that ring up there, sitting on top. Now, that's all sealed down and silicone and screwed. That's a gasket. The idea was that the bottom part of this tank is going to fit right through the bottom of that gasket. And then this tower is going to stand up tall, right on top. So what I'm working on, and I meant to show you guys this yesterday, but, you know, I put up a couple of videos there in the last two days. I figured I'd give it a chance to rest. Is this band here. All right, so we got our tiger hair hardener in here all the way around. Now that's silicone in between the joints. And then this tank to this tank has stainless steel screws inside. All right. So now we're going to do a fiberglass band all the way around that. And we may not stop there. I'm not sure. I mean, that's pretty good and it's going to be vertical. So, you know. What I want to show you is I put these in. Now what these are, I'll show you when we look inside the tank. You'll see another one right there. Alright? Now there's going to be another one put in yet. Let's go down here and take a peek. Alright. Now, you see that one right down there on the ground? And you see that one up there? Alright, you see how they're pointing down? Okay. The idea being is that the grain gets filled in from the top up here. All right, we're gonna build a special door for that. So the grain goes in from the top and goes all the way down and fills the tanks. So the grain comes up past these, capping them off inside so no air can transfer. And I'm gonna get covers here. As the grain goes down, the air can now escape, and that should reduce my moisture inside the tanks, keeping my grain nice and dry. So that's my working plan right there. So, today, we're going to do the fiberglass bands. I've already made arrangements to have Mr. Cushing come up here, and he's going to use his backhoe to help me get these tanks up on top of that pedestal right here. So that's going to be pretty awesome. Now I got more framing to do and I've got some support lines I got to put in, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. All right guys, so hey, tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. If, you know, if you like my videos, man, hit that like button. All right, that goes a long way to, you know, kind of encourage me to do more videos. Let me know what you like. Hey, let me know what you don't like. Oh yeah, by the way, I only got four pigs left, all right? So, better get on board pretty quick or you're gonna have to wait for the next letter all right guys have a good day